Okay, we're going to put this brand new high pressure fuel pump in this 981 Cayman GT4. Okay, the first task is to take off this cover with a 10, mil 10 millimeter and Torx 25, maybe eight, eight or 10 screws. And so now we can see the underside of the engine. So I'm looking toward the front back here. Here's the back and the high pressure fuel pump is right there. Um, I didn't see any online videos on changing this out. And you see that uh, familiar piece that we saw on the brand new one there. Um, did not see any videos online. Saw a 911 video and uh, figured if I rotated the engine 180, I would find it in, in a similar location. And lo and behold, this is where it was on, I believe a 997. And the guy, all he took off was this. Um, actually had some exhaust he had to take off, but that's because the uh, motor was rotated 180. And this was over there. Uh, so anyway, the, and also had a, it had a cover on it. This one does not have a cover, which is interesting. It looks like it's got threaded holes for a cover. Indeed it does right there. So, um, it looks like, uh, I will um, find the three or four bolts there and see if I can get them off. Okay, just taking a look at what this situation is right here. Got this little mirror. And boy, it's really hard to tell if... Uh... There we go. So that's easy. We could see that screw without the mirror, but I just wanted to show you. Yeah, I think you can see that there right in the middle. Um, so that's another one of those 13, um, strange looking, uh, screws. And so, uh, right there is one, this is one, this is two and three must be right up here and four might be inside that, uh, that cover thing up here. Um, so I'm gonna try to get those off without undoing any of these other lines. Well, I undid the, uh, it's like a ground ground wire here, undid that, of course, undid the electrical connection there. So I'm gonna try to not undo this radiator hose and see what happens. Okay, the first one obviously is pretty easy, but I may have a a good situation here. So this is an E13. I've forgotten what it was. So that's an E. And uh, I've got a quarter drive to 3 8 uh, adapter there, which um, just gives it enough extension to get beyond this mounting thing or cover, whatever it is. And then I still have the ratchet there. Let's see if I can get there. We go. So um, that one, that one comes out. No problem. I'm going to see if I can use that same technique on the others. I'm pretty sure that's going to go in there. And that will go in there. Because I got I to gotta make room. I have access to that. So we're going to take these hoses off. So um, I don't know if you can see that I have a drain pan for all this radiator fluid. Hopefully I'm not going to lose that much. Wow, that worked beautifully. Um, I got a little bit wet. I don't know if you can see anything there. But um, no, that thing went right in there. That's a uh, Patron <laughs> Reposado. And uh, fits right in there. I might have to, I think I might have to get uh, that one off as well. But that this will help me. Let me see if I can make some room here. So here's the situation. <clears throat> We've got this external Torx star screw. There's two of them that are up top holding the fuel pump on. And um, I've got this uh, circle. And so there's a recess here. These things are recessed down here. And I'm able to get uh, this 3 8 inch 3 8 inch 
extender onto the socket, which is on the head of this uh, bolt, this star, star headed bolt. The problem is it's only like almost an inch, a little bit less than an inch right here. So uh, there's just not a lot of working room. Um, I've got this uh, tight reach and this almost fits, but it's a little bit too big and you can't, you know, you can't turn it to get, get the thing in there. So what I'm going to do is um, get this bolt here and just cut it to be about the right size and then grind down a 3 8 inch interface on this side of it. And that way uh, I should be able to just come in with a wrench, open-ended wrench, and get on that thing and turn it. All right, so that's the bolt that I cut and made into a 3 8 inch extender kind of thing. So I ought to be able to put the open-ended wrench on the end of that and turn that thing. Let's see if it works. That worked pretty well. You see the uh, nut adapter and the uh, external Torx socket there, orange. And I'm going to take a long screwdriver and pry the adapter out. Got the other screw installed. Um, man, there's not, okay, there's not a lot of room there. I'll show you how I did it. Um, first, I want to talk about the uh, radiator thing here. So, um, you, you want the rubber, leave the rubber hose attached uh, to the um, pipe, the aluminum pipe that's in the center of the screen. And then it's much easier to cork the, the rubber part there. And then you can see uh, I've got a cork in the, uh, that's just a standard wine size <laughs> in that in that tube and then you can kind of see you can jiggle this stuff around and I can get my hand up there barely let me just show you how I got those things in there we'll, okay literally um, holding it like this I'm jamming my hand all the way up there and this is how I got the socket on and then got the um, that adapter nut I made up there so you can see it there it is right in the middle of the screen and so now I'm gonna uh, unscrew it okay having trouble getting my hand up there so I'm going to uh, there's a wire tie right there through here so I'm gonna carefully right in the center of the screen right there I'm gonna carefully clip that without cutting the sheath of this of these other wires so I can just move this thing out of the way it's just I can't get my hand up there okay well I highly recommend taking that one one wire tie off because now look at the clear shot I've got and uh, all the, now the <coughs> trick is I need to hold that nut adapter down onto the socket um, so I have a long handle screwdriver. I'm gonna to try to get the wrench on it and some down pressure on it at the same time. Okay, um, believe it or not, I was able to get two hands up there. Once you break it loose, um, it just, it's very, very easy to get out. So um, this thing looks like it should come off now. I'm gonna work with it, try and get that off. Okay, uh, important to note here, just the, there are two different size screws. The one on the bottom there is longer and, um, and the upper two. So now you can see this part. And what I'm gonna, I think what I'm gonna do um, is cut this darn thing about halfway um, down so that if this has to be done again next time, uh, won't be so hard and you can see there's some threaded holes for a cover which apparently they don't use on on this model okay, there's another bolt in there I was able to pretty easily reach that with this um, adapter set up and there's plenty of room you can see I've already loosened it just want to show you you can get your 
wrench on that one without a problem once the cover is gone. And there's one other one right there in the center of the screen. Should be able to reach. It's just below the uh, gas line connection. Should be able to reach that one from behind. Okay, got all the screws out and the two uh, gas fittings undone. The bottom one was a 17 and the top one, one farthest away from me. It's kind of in, the, there it is, lights on it. Right, ah, it's hard to get the light on it. Anyway, lights on it right there, it's um, 14. And so um, it ought to come out. Uh, I'm gonna try and uh, jiggle it, pry it a little bit. Okay, well, came right out, no problem. Uh, here it is. Uh, a little bit of gas dripping out, but not too much. And that's the hole oh, that's left. Try to get a little bit of light on that. Okay, I'm just gonna take a couple of photos here of the pictures and numbers on the side of these things because they do have different part numbers. Okay, I'm gonna cut this thing off. I think I may have mentioned that earlier, uh, at least um, for this part that's very hard to get to. Uh, I don't see any reason why I can't do that. Okay, here's this piece after I cut that off. And uh, that's what I took off right there. I just want to point out in the uh, gas line, the larger one, there's some type, of, some type of little fitting in there. And it's also on the OEM part. So uh, I was wondering if that was supposed to be taken out, but obviously it's not. Okay, just want to go over <clears throat> the tools I used one more time. I believe this is everything. So this, I just snipped a uh, wire tie with the wire trimmers. This was also uh, used to get the, uh, this thing, this uh, radiator hose clamp off. All right, so that's all I used that for, not very important. Um, and this was the big deal. This is the 13 external torques and I, had already ground this down um, to be a thin wall to use on the header bolts. Um, I had some headers at one time. Uh, I'm not sure about these, but um, the other ones I had, you had to have a really thin wall to get to the screw. So you may have to grind grind one down like, like I did on this one. Um, and of course, I've got this little doohickey I made, which goes into that. That was for getting the topmost uh, screws out um, 17 or 14 or for the gas lines 17 for the closest one this one for the, for the top one I think I use this um, getting the screws out getting a couple of them out and uh, I've used this quarter inch drive and um, I put that on this adapter for the quarter inch. Again, this thing just is able to fit places and the torque wrench. Um, these are five millimeter bolts. All of them are five millimeter. So I targeted about six and a half foot pounds for those. And um, I was actually able to get the torque wrench on this one, maybe three of them. And um, just practice calibrating. Actually, I practiced on, on this one several times to make sure I wasn't going to, um, you know, try to try to get my calibration correct on when I didn't use the torque wrench a couple times. I realized I used some of these vice grips uh, to get these clamps off the radiator hoses and the 10 millimeter. There's a, a bolt, a plastic bolt back here. You got to get that off. Um, but that's it. We're done. Get everything hooked up again. Um, so it all looks 
pretty good. So it's interesting that uh, hole that you see in the middle of the screen there is not used. So it wasn't used before and it's not used now. So um, I guess maybe that's one reason that cover is where it is. It's maybe uh, holding that, putting pressure on that uh, leg of that thing. So anyway, uh, that's it. Get everything back together. Got the, uh, that's not good to see it. That uh, wire tie back on that one wire up there. So it looks good, so we'll crank it up and see how it goes.